Trying to decide on which type of power plant to power your RC airplane. Is it going to be gas, glow, or electro? In this video, I'll break it all down to you on which ones are going to be the most cost effective. Let's go. Now, if you've watched any of my previous videos, such as how to get started in RC airplane hobby cheap, which I will link to up here in the card, you will know that I like to get the most bang for my buck. Now, depending on which power plant you choose will depend on how much you spend. Let's start off with an electric motor. You can pick a electric motor to fit just about any size airframe out there on the market today. You still got to have a good electronic speed controller or ESC as well as a good battery. A lot of the LiPo batteries for the electrics generally start out anywhere from $13 for this little three cell all the way up to 80, 90 bucks for a six cell battery. Now moving on to nitro motors, they're great little motors, they're dependable. You have the same maintenance wear and tear of any other internal combustion engine. The biggest difference with running a nitro versus the other ones is the price of the fuel. Now a gallon of nitro fuel will run you about $31 a gallon. And usually it will last you, depending on how many times you fly and how many planes you fly, it could last you a full season or a couple of seasons. Now let's talk about the gasoline engine. By far, in my honest opinion, that's going to be the most cost effective power plant for your RC airplane. While nitro fuel runs at $31 plus a gallon, you can pick up Avgas or aviation fuel for about $4.86 a gallon and mix that with some two cycle oil and depending on how many times you fly and how many airplanes you fly, that tank of gas can last you a full season or two or three seasons. Now a lot of the gas engines will start out around $150, $160 and go up from there. A good uh, 15cc engine like this uh, Evolution 15cc in my mall by Seagull runs about $250. Now a good rule of thumb is depending on the size of your airframe will determine what power plant you need to put in your airplane. If you have a 40 size or smaller an electric or nitro if a nitro will fit in there would work for you. In the 60 size airplanes you have a choice of going electric, nitro, or gasoline as I've seen an 8cc gasoline engine that's equivalent to a .46 size nitro motor. As long as the airframe has room to put the associated equipment such as the electronic ignition and has enough uh, strength to the firewall to hold the motor, you can put a gasoline engine in it. Let's talk about maintenance of these power plants. With electric motors, there's really not a whole lot to maintain on them other than maintaining the battery and checking the connections on the ESC or electronic speed control. The electric motors are pretty much self-sealed and so there's really not any maintenance to them. With nitro motors, you can adjust the carburetors. If you don't fly your plane in a while, those carburetors can become gummed up and stick, which you'll have to take apart and clean. And as well as all internal combustion engines, not only with nitro, but also with gas, you still have to worry about the wear and tear on the pistons and the sleeves and the uh, cylinder head. Well, that's it for this week's video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you have a question, let me know down in the comments and please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell notification to be notified every time a new video comes out. Until next time.